Welcome back. The bombshell discovery of incriminating video footage at Diddy's residence has not only rocked the entertainment world, but also sent Kris Jenner into a panicked retreat. The once unflappable matriarch has vanished, going M.A. in a bid to evade the relentless pursuit of the federal authorities. Reports suggest that Chris has fled the country, seeking refuge in a far-off location to escape the mounting pressure and looming threat of imprisonment. Her sudden disappearance has set tongues wagging and speculation running rampant. What was once merely whispered about in the shadows has now burst into the glaring spotlight of public scrutiny. Chris Jenner, the mastermind behind the Kardashian-Jenner empire, now finds herself at the center of a sprawling investigation into Diddy's criminal activities. The connection between Kris Jenner and Diddy's crimes appears to be significant and far-reaching. The video footage found in Diddy's possession is rumored to contain damning evidence that could implicate Kris in a web of corruption and illegal dealings. It is not just a matter of guilt by association, the evidence suggests a direct involvement that could have far-reaching consequences. With Kris Jenner now in hiding, the authorities are left with a daunting task. The hunt for her has intensified, with federal agents working tirelessly to track down the elusive figurehead of the Kardashian-Jenner dynasty. The stakes are high, and the pressure is mounting as they seek to bring her to justice. In the meantime, the legal news tightens around Kris Jenner's empire. The feds have made it clear that unless she resurfaces and cooperates with their investigation, they will take drastic measures. Everything she owns is at risk, from her lavish mansions to her lucrative business ventures. The threat of freezing all her bank accounts looms large, a stark warning of the consequences of evading justice. For Kris Jenner, the decision to flee was likely born out of desperation and fear. The realization that her carefully constructed world was crumbling around her must have been a harrowing one. The once untouchable media mogul now finds herself on the run, a fugitive from the law, her legacy hanging in the balance. As the search for Kris Jenner continues, the public is left to ponder the depths of her alleged involvement in Diddy's criminal enterprise. The image of the glamorous Kardashian-Jenner clan is tarnished, replaced by a darker narrative of corruption and deceit. The once-admired figure now stands accused, her actions threatening to unravel the very fabric of her family's empire. Will Kris Jenner resurface to face the music? Or will she remain in hiding, a shadowy figure on the fringes of society? The answers remain elusive as the saga unfolds, leaving a trail of questions in its wake. The hunt for Kris Jenner continues, a high-stakes game of cat and mouse that could ultimately determine the fate of one of Hollywood's most powerful figures. When a high-profile figure like Kris Jenner flees the country to evade the law, the federal authorities are left with a challenging task. The pursuit of justice does not stop at international borders, and in cases where individuals attempt to escape justice by leaving the country, law enforcement agencies have a range of tools and tactics at their disposal. The first step for the federal authorities is to issue an arrest warrant for the individual in question. In Kris Jenner's case, a warrant would likely have been swiftly obtained, detailing the charges against her and authorizing her arrest upon discovery. This warrant would also be shared with international law enforcement agencies through Interpol, the international police organization, effectively turning the search for Kris Jenner into a global manhunt. Simultaneously, the feds would work closely with diplomatic channels to coordinate efforts with the country where Kris is believed to be hiding. This involves engaging in extradition proceedings, which is the legal process by which one country requests the surrender of a suspected criminal from another country. Extradition treaties between countries govern this process, outlining the conditions under which individuals can be transferred from one jurisdiction to another to face charges. The effectiveness of extradition varies depending on the country in question and the specific circumstances of the case. Some countries have robust extradition agreements with the United States, making it relatively straightforward to secure the return of a fugitive. However, in other cases, extradition can be a lengthy and complex process, especially if the individual has sought refuge in a country with less cooperative diplomatic relations. In addition to formal extradition proceedings, the feds would also deploy a range of investigative techniques to locate Kris Jenner's whereabouts. 
This includes monitoring financial transactions, tracking electronic communications, and working with informants or contacts in the country where she is believed to be hiding. The goal is to gather intelligence that can narrow down her location and facilitate her apprehension. Furthermore, the federal authorities may seek the assistance of international law enforcement agencies and intelligence services. This collaborative approach allows for the pooling of resources and expertise, increasing the chances of success in locating and apprehending the fugitive. Interpol, in particular, plays a crucial role in coordinating international efforts to track down individuals who have fled justice. In cases where extradition is successful and Kris Jenner is located and apprehended, she would be brought back to the United States to face charges. This typically involves a formal legal process in the country where she was found, followed by her transfer to U.S. custody. Once back in the U.S., she would undergo legal proceedings, including arraignment, trial, and potential sentencing if found guilty. The consequences of fleeing the country to evade justice can be severe. In addition to facing the original charges, individuals who flee may also be charged with additional offenses related to their flight, such as obstruction of justice or unlawful flight to avoid prosecution. These charges can carry significant penalties, further complicating an already precarious legal situation. In Kris Jenner's case, the decision to flee has escalated the stakes dramatically. The federal authorities are now engaged in an intense and far-reaching effort to bring her back to face the music. The global manhunt for Kris Jenner is a testament to the determination of law enforcement to uphold the rule of law, no matter where the trail may lead. The irony is not lost on observers as Kris Jenner, once the orchestrator of media narratives and queen of manipulation, now finds herself dancing to the very tune she and Diddy composed. The parallels between their actions are striking, revealing a pattern of coercion, manipulation, and silencing of those who dared to speak out. For Diddy, the accusations of silencing dissenting voices are not new. Over the years, whispers have circulated about his alleged use of intimidation tactics to keep people in line. The stories of individuals who crossed him and faced harsh consequences, whether through legal threats or professional sabotage, are numerous. Diddy's empire was built on a foundation of fear, where loyalty was demanded and dissent was swiftly dealt with. In much the same way, Kris Jenner's empire rested on a delicate balance of power and influence. She was known for her strategic prowess, able to shape narratives and control the public perception of her family with precision. However, behind the carefully curated image lay a darker truth, one of ruthless ambition and a willingness to do whatever it took to stay on top. The revelations of Kris Jenner's involvement in Diddy's world of crime and corruption shed new light on her methods. It appears that she too played the game of silencing those who posed a threat to her carefully constructed facade. Whether through legal threats, professional blacklisting, or other means of coercion, Kris Jenner allegedly used her power to keep potential whistleblowers at bay. The discovery of incriminating evidence linking Kris Jenner to Diddy's activities is a testament to the power of truth. It seems that the walls of deception they built around themselves are finally crumbling, exposing the reality of their actions. The same tactics they used to control and manipulate others are now being turned against them, as the full force of the law bears down. As the investigation deepens, the stories of those who were silenced by Diddy and Kris Jenner are beginning to emerge. Former associates, employees, and business partners are coming forward with tales of intimidation and threats, painting a picture of a world where speaking out meant facing dire consequences. In this twisted game of power and influence, it seems that Diddy and Kris Jenner were not just gatekeepers, but also enforcers of a code of silence. The individuals who dared to challenge their authority were met with swift reprisals, their voices silenced in the face of overwhelming pressure. Now, as Kris Jenner faces the very real prospect of legal consequences for her alleged crimes, the irony is palpable. The tables have turned, and she is now dancing to the music she and Diddy composed. The same tactics they used to control others are now being used against them, as the truth comes to light and justice seeks to right the wrongs of their past actions. In the end, the story of Kris Jenner and Diddy serves as a cautionary tale of the dangers of unchecked ambition and the corrupting influence of power. Their fall from grace is a stark reminder that no one is above the law, 
and that the consequences of manipulating others for personal gain can be severe. As the legal proceedings unfold, the world watches with a mix of fascination and horror, witnessing the downfall of two once untouchable figures in the entertainment industry. Thank you for watching.